All right, guys, this is number 53. And in this video, I've been talking about I'm spending the next couple weeks just organizing my cards so I can be better organized for selling this summer after the school year is done. So my project this weekend is to relabel all my 5,000 count boxes. And you might think, oh, that's a, that's a small project. But I have counted 307 5,000 count boxes. Here are the labels that I, that I made. I used to have a Microsoft Word document, but lost that over the years, so I had to just use Google Docs to make up a new one. Here, if you're wondering what they look like, here's a picture of 28 5,000 count boxes that I labeled. Um, this is approximately 112,000 cards in this shelving unit. These are all player sections of football. So they're players like Kurt Warner, Fred Taylor, Kirk Cousins, all the way down to Junior Seau, Herman Moore, Ryan Tannehill. I'm just naming off players. There's probably a total of 300 players that I take out in these sections. Jerome Bettis, Jim Kelly. So I some of these, what I did two, three summers ago, I organized all these by player sections. So half are organized, half are not. It's quite a project. When I organized half the amount a couple years ago, I ended up getting 10 5,000 count boxes in my living room. And I decided if they were last name A through B, they go in one box, C and D in another box. And I just, step by step, I then organized all the A's and B's. Then I organized all the D's and C's. It's a long process. So to get all of these into player sections would probably take a whole weekend to do, 20, 25 hours to do. Um, a lot of work, but that's, that's the goal of chipping away at organizing so I can list all of the player sections on my eBay store. Um, put a bid up, put a buy it now price on their best offer. But that's my long-term goal end of the summer is to get large quantities of cards on um, eBay. So then when the school year hits, I can still bring in some money every month, but then a lot of the, the work is done. That's my goal. Here's what it looks like for baseball halfway through. So the top part is, is new labels. The bottom part is the old labels. Like I said, I lost the file for that one. I've had that file for probably 20 years. So I decided just to, to mix things up there. Some part of me wishes I would, would have just found that file because I like that the boldness of that one, but decided to do it different. All right. So when I get in a collection, I usually keep about half the cards. So half the cards I donate or sell for dirt cheap. So for example, if I if I sell them on marketplace, it's usually one dollar I'm offering for four thousand cards, which is extremely cheap. It's more or less I'm buying collections and I need room in the garage because I can fill one. There's been times whenever I fill one big storage unit or one big wire rack with flat rate boxes, I need to move them. I need room in my garage. So I've probably filled three, four, five hundred of those boxes. Um, when I first started doing it and I had 200 of them, I had all intentions in the world to sell them. Um, then I kept on looking on eBay and what they were going for. It just wasn't, it made no sense to sell them. And then having someone not happy with all commons. So I end up just giving away half of them and then getting rid of them for $1 a piece. So I know that I've given away or gotten rid of cards for $1 per 4,000 cards. I know I've given away at least probably 2 million cards. Um, when I moved from my apartment to my house like six years ago, I all the commons that I had, baseball, basketball, football, I gave them all away to the art teachers in my the school district I work at. Um, and that was, I remember it was three vans full. So I would guess that I gave away about half a million cards because I knew I didn't want to move them into my new house. So 
It was like the 87 Tops Commons, the 91 Tops Commons. And I had probably three 5,000 count box of 87 Tops Commons, for example. But those were perfect for art teachers to use to cut them up for collages or for schools to use them for prizes. Um, so that worked really good. Speaking of that, I there's a, a guy that has been collecting commons. They're not commons anymore. When people donate cards to him, they're good cards. They're really good cards. So with that, he has started with the goal of he wanted to donate 1 million cards. And I think now he's up to about 40 million cards that he's donated. So he collects cards and he drops them off at Boys and Girls Club and a bunch of other things. I think he's based in like North Carolina. Uh, but for him, I've been following his journey on Facebook for probably 10 years, 10, 15 years. Um, and I reached out to him last week. I said, would you ever want to do an interview on Zoom? And he said, yeah, we could work something out. So hopefully this summer I can do a Zoom with him and kind of just he can share his story and maybe describe some stories of him dropping off cards and the excitement of kids getting some free cards but yeah that's that's my goal and if you're wondering what boxes i use so these are ones that i purchased if you look in the top you purchased this item february 14th 2021 so it's the the day that i made the episode with red face paint eye paint all right so this is what they cost it is between the original cost of $59.50 and the shipping $32, about 90 bucks to get 25 of these. And if you think of your retail store, they might sell for five bucks, so I'm paying about $3.50 each. A couple years ago, you could get these for probably 50 bucks, so the price has definitely gone up, but that's fine. I gotta keep the cards organized, so in order to have them looking like this, you gotta spend money on supplies. There's no, way, no other way to do it. So the value of the boxes alone, if they were brand new, that's probably, I don't know, about $100 worth of supplies right there. But it's worth it because it keeps them organized. Um, yeah, that's it for this video. I thought it'd be interested, because I've, I've mentioned that I have one or two million cards, but you might be thinking, how does that work? How does that look? Um, so this right here, this shelving unit is 112,000 cards, according to my estimate. So I have about 10 to 12 shelving units. So that kind of matches the estimation that I, that I go with. All right, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Um, next video, I want to, I have a flat rate shipping box that I bought on eBay for $25, free shipping. So the person that sold this ended up making about 10 bucks. Um, they're not all commons, they're, they're some good ones. So I would love to do a video where I just highlight what I got in that box. Cause I've probably bought 50 of those in the last two years, the so same, same person. But if you're looking to build your collection, you might wanna check out this person's eBay store. And then when you see those posted, you can bid on them too. All right, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.